Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and this is by the numbers Rakuma Khamsa. A number of people have been asking me where I've been, how I'm doing. The short answer is I've been great and I've been prioritizing a lot of other things in my life so I haven't had the time to make any videos. Also I got hacked shortly after by the numbers 4 was posted and I will talk about that at the end of the video after after the, we go into detail for by the numbers 5. So let's go ahead and do that and get into the, the numbers. So here it is by the numbers. Total invested, still at 106,000 at the end of it all. You'll see how much I've lost and gained as a result. I currently have zero active, so every single one of them has closed out of its evaluation period. Let's go ahead and go to the inactive tab where all the money is. $106,000 invested, $65,000 returned, with a loss of 41,000. 39% my entire hundred six thousand baby teeth first one ten thousand dollars invested fifteen thousand dollars return so there's a margin there that a profit would i reinvest nope oscar bit five thousand dollars invested zero net return would i reinvest nope control finance $33,000 invested, $12,000 return. That one hurt. Would I reinvest? Nope. BitConnect. So this was the one that was still open, my last video. I stopped posting videos about a month or two before BitConnect was subpoenaed and announced that it was shutting down its lending platform. So I invested $20,000. I had a net return of zip. And that was because this was my second take. As you can see here, that was my second reinvestment. And for the second reinvestment, I was doing a compound interest strategy. And it was working quite well up to the point where they closed everything out. So would I reinvest? Nope. Coinrium, $6,800 invested in Coinrium. Net return, $8,200, but I haven't received the last two payments and the site has shut down. So would I reinvest? Nope. Genesis Mining, $25,000 invested over 128 days, zero days are left. Total payouts were 33,000, average interest rate of 1.15% was more than the advertised 1.03% with a net return of $28,000 after reduction of fees. That meant a net return of 111%. So I made back my investment and a little bit over. Would Lanzer reinvest? Very likely. USI Tech. Principal was $4,900. Evaluation period of 196 days. Did not break even. Total payout was 0.75 Bitcoin, which was a net return of $1,000. And Woodlands or Reinvesc is at serious risk because I have not received the payouts from the last 11 days. I received zero. And I was unable to withdraw the 0.26 Bitcoin that had accumulated since 6 December. So when I submitted a ticket to USI Tech informing them that I hadn't yet received my payout and I haven't received the last 11 days. Their team had mentioned that I bought BTC Packs 1.0 and that the data was still being migrated. So as of about 10 minutes ago, I also saw that there was a update notification saying that they should now be ready to make payments on BTC Packs 1.0. I'm going to wait and see how that works out but as of right now USI Tech has been closed out I'm waiting for a resolution on the last couple payments that are supposed to be made but as of right now it's at serious risk my experience with them hasn't been overly great so that closes out 
my active investments in by the numbers. Let's talk about something else. Over these last few months, I've been working on other things and I haven't had the time and didn't want to make any new videos. As I mentioned, I was hacked not long after by the numbers four came out. People tried to steal things from me. They didn't because they realized I didn't have anything worth stealing. <laughs> I had an interesting talk with my hacker because he called my phone and you know, we talked about random things, you know, about life and why they were, why he felt the need to, to hack me. Apparently they thought that I had millions of dollars and <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. And uh, didn't really, didn't really come out with anything because I didn't have anything from the steal. Other than that, I... The person said they were from Lizard Squad, particularly his name was G. So shout out to G from Lizard Squad. Other than that, I've been working on a novel. Actually, I'm about to finish it up, a science fiction novel. And I've been focusing a lot on that and work as a contract negotiator and also a couple other business ideas that I've been looking into. I saw what happened to BitConnect. That's, that's a shame. It's unfortunate. I hope that you made good, smart decisions and that you were able to, to turn a profit for yourself. Please remember, always remember, don't make anyone the singular source for your decision to, to buy things. Not me, not anyone else. And, you know, put, put thought into what you want to invest your money in. And do not invest anything more than you are willing to lose. That is a good way to really hurt yourself financially. So please be smart about what it, where it is you put your money. That's, that's, really, that's really it. Although I have to go over, I might not be posting a video again. Maybe, maybe not. All depends on what I invest in and what I feel is video worthy. I'm... Might, there might be something in the future in terms with another or another group that is interested in ICOs and I'm, I might end up working with them and asking them questions and doing like a like a talk show but we'll see how that turns out that may not happen all right that's everything I have for this video have a great day goodbye <laughs>